myself because only half of me look good. Bro, you get on motherfucking live again because of the motherfucking same reason. Like, literally, I was getting my makeup done. No, I, I took a shower. I took a shower. I've been getting my makeup done. And I wake up. And I see. And what I see? What do I see? Fans. My fans. Not, not nobody else's fans. My fans on live talking hot shit about me. And, I, and y'all keep saying, oh, my gosh. Something is wrong with her. Something is going on in her personal life. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tokyo, Erica, how was that doing yesterday? Good, great, having a good time, getting drunk, having great. I get on fucking social media. What do I see? My own fans, my own fans, my own fans. Not nobody else. Not not general public, not the general public, but people with my fucking picture on their profile. Fucking harassing people that I fuck with. And y'all keep doing that shit. This is the same people that be harassing patients every fucking time. The same people that harass people when they don't like how my makeup is. Bro, give it a break. I'm not Jojo Siwa, motherfuckers. When my friends, when they come to me with their problems, because y'all claim that my problems is on the internet. When my friends come to me with their problems. And if they do a decision that I don't agree with, I don't go talking shit to them to my other friends. I don't go saying, I'm not fucking with you. I think this and that. I don't do that. But then I got to understand, y'all not friends. Y'all not my friends. So that, that's where I got it confused. Because I be thinking that my fans are friends and we like family. But I guess we're not. We're not. So maybe that's where I fuck up at. Because I got to separate myself. Shit is not real. It's not real. And it is what it is. Y'all not going to keep fucking harassing me, harassing everybody that I fuck with. And if y'all claim that I'm lying, look at this shit. Where is it at? My bad, y'all. I'm getting my fucking wig done. Don't judge me. <laughs> like, it's like, how y'all harassing my best friend? I barely even see this girl. I barely see this girl, right? She has her own life, her own personal life. She lives far, far away from me. I finally get to see her and y'all harassing my friend. Please talk to Cardi. Y'all don't ever realize that y'all be fucking, fucking shit up. That y'all be fucking up my mental as well. When y'all come with y'all fucking non-wanted opinions. And like I said, I love a lot of my fans. And I always, I'm thankful for all the support and when we all get together, it's a great shit. But it's like, yo, sometimes y'all be doing too much. And then y'all want to be having lives about me and shit. Like, get the fuck out of here. And it's like, oh, Cardi, oh my gosh, you're going to lose your fans. Bro, I'm going to tell it how it is always. If y'all don't fuck with me, that, then I don't know what to say. Fuck it. I, life goes on. My life goes on. My life goes on. Y'all could go love anybody, somebody else. I don't give a shit. Shit is annoying and mad fucking frustrating all the time. And it's not even coming from other people. It's coming from my own, my own fan base harassing the people that I fucking be with every day. All because of offset, offset. No. Y'all. And y'all fucking opinions. Oh my gosh, she's smoking a cigarette. She's stressed out. She's stressed out. My nigga, I'm not stressed out because I'm smoking a cigarette. I've been smoking cigarettes since I was 15 years old. No, but you need to stop doing it. But you need to stop this and that. My nigga, I'm grown. I'm grown. I'm a grown ass woman. I push the whole baby out of my pussy. I pay my bills. You know what's that? You know, you know what's actually stressing me out? You want to know what's really stressing me out? That I have a water damage in my crib and I have to pay $300,000 for the water damage. $300,000. Me and I got to go half and half on a fucking water damage. Shit like that be stressing me out. That's be stress In real life, in real life, that shit be stressing me out. I'm going to have to have a camera so y'all can see the type of shit that be stressing me out because y'all really be thinking that I be giving a fuck about something that I don't give a fuck about. And then it be your own fans. And then it be niggas, your fans that I be flying out to my party. Fans that I fucking, I fucking uh, got together with Cash App and was sending money to. What type of shit is that? What is wrong with y'all? Motherfuckers is crazy.
was the other shit that I saw that I didn't fucking like? Fucking is a sickness, bro. Why Miss Natalie Lennon said water damage from all the WAP? You know what? <laughs> nah, because um, we haven't been in this house for a long fucking time. So, um, and we barely go to the basement. And then we seen the fucking basement is full of water. So now we got to fucking fix that shit. Shit like that stresses me out. You know what I'm saying? I have a fucking litigation going on. Shit like that stresses me out. Trying to make sure I get the best, best money in the endorsement deals. Type, that type of shit stresses me out. Me doing music that sound good so I could please my fans. That stresses me out. When my fans talk shit about me instead of having my fucking back and then they want to talk about this is constructive criticism. No, bro. Trying to control my life is not control constructive criticism, my nigga. That shit is crazy and weird. A whole bunch of 15-year-olds telling me how to live my life. Like I'm motherfucking Ariana Grande or something. Like I came from Disney or something. That shit is crazy. So, so what y'all wanted to do? Y'all want me to date a new nigga, a new nigga that most likely, like y'all need to understand, I'm not a, a, a regular average bitch. A regular average bitch, she could go fuck around with a nigga. She don't like the nigga, bye. I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm fucking Cardi B. Let me go fuck on a nigga and I don't like it. Guess what? The whole world gonna know that I took that dick. Cause niggas, dig, niggas don't stay quiet. Niggas don't stay quiet. So that's what y'all wanted me to do. Y'all keep suggesting me to date niggas that because they clouded up, that they, they never, they never even cuffed the bitch. Y'all want me to go after. What type of shit is that? Like if I don't have a whole daughter at home, like my daughter don't be harassing me. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Like what are you talking about? And it's not even with offset. It's with everything I do. Shit is stressful. I try my best to give y'all the best music, the best to give y'all great content. But when it comes to my personal life and when it comes to harassing my friends and my family, y'all is out of control. And the sad shit about it is, it's not coming from the general public. It's coming from my own fucking fan base. That shit is crazy to me. Is my fan base the first, the first people I see in the comments harassing this nigga? The first people I see in the comments, it, fucking, even, even Johnny told me the other day, like, yo, your fans are driving me crazy in the DMs. That shit is crazy, bro. That shit is weird. It's getting out of control. And then y'all be saying that there's something wrong with me. Y'all is driving me nuts. That's what's going on. Y'all is doing too much. There's nothing wrong with a bitch. What the fuck? How the fuck you think I feel that the people that's trying to support you all the time fucking trying to fucking harass people around? Oh, because, you know, I told her I don't like that nigga. I don't just You not sucking his dick, sis. You're not doing it. And I apologize to my fans. They be minding their business and all that shit. But some of y'all be out of fucking control. And if you feel a certain type of way, hit my DM. The fuck is y'all doing fucking going live and shit? Oh, because I feel... Man, get the fuck out of here. Like I said, y'all don't fuck with me anymore. That's life. It is what it is. At this point, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just sick of it. I'm really sick of it. Shit is crazy to me. But I'm in the wrong. Get the fuck out of here. So... That shit is so weird, bro. Like, what? <laughs> y'all have made my publicist cry to me so many times because my own fans talk shit about her fucking weight. Cry to me. My own fans, not the other niggas, not everybody else, but my own fans. Because y'all be talking about, oh, why can she not control you? I don't live with her. Nobody, not a publicist, not my mother, not my father, not my husband. Nobody can control me. I think the only person that's going to be able to control me is my daughter. But y'all don't see where y'all be wrong at. Y'all don't see where y'all be wrong at. I have made this fucking bitch cry so many times. How many times have patients have done cry to us? Yes. Plenty of times. 
Because y'all be bullying her. And it be my fans. And that's the shit that y'all be doing. Y'all trying to do to me. And y'all getting y'all mad because I'm getting mad. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, she's having a mental breakdown. All oh, this, this, and that. What? Nobody else but my fans made me delete my fucking Twitter. Because every single time that I get on Twitter, y'all got some dumb, slick shit to say. And then it's like, she probably going through something personal in her life. Yo, I be chilling. Chilling until I get on these motherfucking apps. Chilling. Chilling.